Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how to reduce a double chin. We're going to do some double chin neck exercises, then we're going to finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage release so we can release all the toxins and waste throughout the neck and the chin area into the body. Now for this you will need clean skin so as you can see here I have no product on my skin apart from a little bit of lipstick whatsoever and clean fingers. I'm going to use some form of slip because we don't want to drag and pull the skin so I'm using some rosehip oil here which I am I'm just looking at it on the last dregs but a little bit of oil. You can use your favourite neck cream or even a face cream if you like but I do find that using an oil you do tend to get a better slip and slide. So we're just gently applying the oil just on top of our jawline, under our chin. And we're also going to work down by the side of the neck as well. Now the first exercise I'm going to do is I'm going to take my index finger and I'm gently placing it onto my chin. We're going to protrude the chin out, in and out, almost protruding it out so we're actually causing a contraction on this area here. So we place our, our finger on our chin and we'll do this five times. and release. Now the next exercise I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of kissing the ceiling. This is great for this area. So I'm placing my hands on my shoulders and do you want nice relaxed shoulders? I'm going to lift up. Obviously if you have neck issues be very mindful. Um, please see a doctor if you have serious neck issues. But just lift up slightly and just pucker your lips and we'll do this five times. We'll come down, move to the side, lift up, and again five times. Come down all the way across, and again up and five times. And down gently and release. And you can actually feel the tension and contraction within the neck area and also up to the jawline. Now we're going to do some exercises in which we're going to again help this jawline start to really because it's all connected and we obviously want to lift up and not drag down and have any of that double chin. So again I'm going to take my fingers here, I'm holding in place if you like and then I'm gently going to release my jaw down and back up again adding just a little bit of tension and again Now you can do that as many times as you like. Again, you can feel contraction and things really starting, muscles starting to actually contract. So this will again help with that double chin. Now what I like to do, and I think this is so important and probably the best thing you can do if you do have that double chin, is to actually, we tend to accumulate a lot of lymph um, waste and toxins within the lymphatic system and the best thing you can do is actually release it and that's through lymphatic drainage massage release so we're going to take our fingers first here and we're gently just going to sweep just alongside from the chin all the way to the ear we have plenty of lymph nodes in this area so by doing this we're physically moving the waste and the toxins through in through within the lymph to the ear area. We tend to get a lot of build up, as I say, particularly here. And you can do this as many times as you like. You can do this even, you know, watching television, you know, just keep working those toxins out. And then I'm just gently going to just from the chin to the ear, nice little gentle pinching motion towards the ear, literally from the chin all the way to the ear, we're actually stimulating collagen and elastine and again on the other side from the chin 
to the ear. Now you can do these exercises two, three times a day, obviously as long as you have, uh, how, how much time you have. But obviously the more you do, the quicker the results. And then again, just gently glide. Then we're just going to massage by the side of the ear and gently glide down to the side of the neck to the collarbone. Again, you may want to swallow as you can feel things actually moving, um, toxins and the waste within this length. Now we're going to take our fingers for the final release and just massage literally just by the side of our ears. And then we want to work down the side of the neck, round circular motions. The lymph is very close to the surface of the skin, so we don't need to be too heavy handed on any of these massage exercises. And then back up again and then down to the bottom of the ear. Then once we get to the bottom of the ear, you just want to literally massage towards the nape of the neck. If you feel any tension in any other places, just give it a little massage and just massage it out. And then once we get to the fingers touching the nape of the neck, you just gently want to sweep down the side of the neck down to the collarbone. So once we've done that, from our chin all the way down to the collarbone, we have a couple of points here, indentations if you like, and you just want to give those a few gentle presses. This will release all the toxins and the waste throughout the lymph from the exercises we've done along the jawline and the double chin into the body ready for elimination. Now I do have other videos on lymphatic drainage massage, facial massage and, lymph and also face yoga exercises if you'd like to look at those and if you enjoyed the video and you think it's made a difference please give it a thumbs up and comment down below as well if there's anything else you'd like me to share with you and also how you're getting on with these exercises and if you enjoyed the video again please subscribe for more hints and tips have a good day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one okay bye